Hey, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to test for mercury in your skincare products. So before we go into testing for mercury, I'd like to tell you what mercury is, what I know about it, and why it should not, why it should not be found in your skincare product. So mercury is a toxic metal. It is, it is a toxic metal. It is a metal, and it is toxic to humans generally. So either you ingest it, or you, um, assuming it, it goes through your body's system, or you inhale it. Every other way can you know get into your system. It is very very poisonous to human. It is not only poisonous to you that is even putting it on your skin. It's, it can be poisonous to other people that are touching your skin or that are around you. So you should not mercury should not be found in your skincare product. However, it has been known to be a very good lightening, whitening, and anti aging um, ingredient. So skincare formulators tend to add it into their skincare product when they know that it should not even be there in the first place so the fda in america says that make sure as a skincare company make sure you list all the ingredients we you use to, to formulate your skincare products list it on the bottle but i do know that not all of them are going to list it so henceforth you should try as much as possible to avoid every skincare product that contains mercury and how do you know that when you take your cream when you take your your cream your soap any skincare products at all make sure you read through it make sure you read it read the ingredients okay read the ingredients and if you see anything that looks like mercury there please drop it mercury has other names other synonyms that they might want to write it in order to you know mask that mercury thing but <laughs> we know what they are so if you see anything that, if you see mercury please don't buy that cream okay I wrote all the names down so if you see me looking down it's because i wrote them out so i can tell you and if you see calomel c a l o m e l calomel if calomel is listed as one of the ingredients that is also mercury please do not buy it if you see mercurious chloride please do not buy it if you see mercuric mercuric do not buy it and if you see mercurial that's also mercury please do not buy it so now that we know that we should not buy any skincare product that has mercury and you know the names to look out for on your skincare products how are you sure that the creams and the skincare products you already have at home does never contain mercury we don't know may god save us so you are going to need aluminum foil to test that you are going to need a cutting wool or you know toilet tissue paper or a cutting board i'm going to be using a cutting board aluminum foil and then my skincare product so i have like six skincare products here that i'm going to be using i'm going to be testing them for mercury i've never tested them before i don't know i've never you know these particular products i've never tested them before i have a couple of products that i've tested you know that don't contain mercury but these ones i've never tested them before. And i want us to do, to do them together so we can see what we have been putting on your skin let's get right into it so to test for presence of mercury in all these skincare products we are going to be using aluminium and you know the skincare product with this cutting with this cutting board so aluminium and mercury in chemistry when they react together they form a particular product called amalgam and amalgam amalgam is black in color so what we're going to just be doing is we're going to be rubbing this skincare product that is suspected to contain mercury rub it against aluminium and if it forms a black if we see a black color then we know that this product contains mercury so we so we're starting right away This is called Beauty Fair Clarifying Whitening Lotion. So, to do Beauty Fair now, go with me, please. So you just make sure that it's 
so the next one the next one we'll be doing is this blemish care malaysian glow lotion. then we go Nothing. This is this. And the next one we'll be trying is Nivea Even and Radiant. The next one we'll be trying is my face cream. This is Blemish Care Carrot Whitening Face Cream. So we'll just take a bit and go. Nothing. And the last one. The last one is this pink lip cream I bought. I just randomly bought it. I don't think I've ever used this more than two or three times. I don't I don't think it works, but I'm just going to try it anyways. I don't think it works for to actually <laughs> make the lips pink, but let's see if it is not poisonous. Okay, so now let's go, let's look at it for this. There's no black. There's no black coloration or anything. So this cream does not contain mercury at all. Mm? Let's go. It does not contain mercury at all. If you see any more that contains mercury, this part, the mouth of the cutting board will turn black because reaction between mercury and aluminum, the result of the reaction is a black precipitate called amalgam. So it doesn't contain mercury as well. Now let's go for this Nive moisturizing lotion. It doesn't contain mercury as well for my face cream my carrot face cream it does not contain mercury as well and this pink lips cream it doesn't contain mercury as well so thankfully none of the skincare products i have at home contain mercury at all so that is it that's how to test if your product has mercury please make sure you test any of your skincare products in fact test all of your skincare products if any of them has mercury please discontinue use immediately and opt for a safer option that will be all for this video please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful subscribe to the channel and i will see you in my next one bye